Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Okay, well, we're going to take a quick short break now. But before we do, our colleague and GKW, fellow GKW, Lisa, uh, went to see a record-breaking attempt of hundreds of people who knew how to swing their bodies and then she took a swing class for herself with Dragon's Den winning class, Swing Patrol. Check out this video. Hi guys, and today there's a lot of adrenaline around, there's a lot of people around as they try to attempt to break the world record for the number of people dancing the Charleston at the same time. So this is taking place at Spitalfields Market today and it is being led by Scott Cupid who is one of Strictly Come Dancing's choreographers, so let's see how they get on. company um, so yeah it's really good fun and I just really wanted to get involved in this because it's just great to be part of a world record. So, yeah. yeah me too I've done a few classes I've been learning to Lindy Hop and then through that I learned a bit of Charleston too. Um, I've done a little bit in class and sometimes when I'm out social dancing but not that much. Yeah I've been in class as well so I've done it for about a year. I've been doing it for just over a year and a bit so learning in classes with swing control it's brilliant. Not very long only a few, only a few times really so Hopefully, we'll give it a go today and hopefully we don't make any mistakes. Very little. Also very little, maybe once before. I've been to Charleston probably for about a year. It was the first thing I learned when I started swing. <laughs> to be part of this big world record attempt. I thought it would be really, really good fun to hang out with some friends. Yeah, that'd be yeah, exactly the same. It's just a great event. It's not something you get to be part of very often. Though not many people can turn around and say they've been part of a world record event. So take the opportunity once it's here. Yeah, definitely raising some money. It's always good to do, you know, do something for a good cause, something that you enjoy. And, and it will be exciting if we yeah. break the record. Yeah. <laughs> My friends from my dance class, they've suggested we come here to do help with the, the world record breaking attempt at the Charleston. So I said, I'm, I'm up for that too. So we came down today from Leicester. We teach in Berlin. So we are, we came, we are from Swing Patrol Berlin and we came to, for this event. So we teach in Berlin. It was really fun. And I uh, thought, yeah, let's go for it. Be part of a world attempt. World record attempt. Yeah, we're making history here in Spitalfield. <laughs> the sun is one thing, um, but just like the sing community, they're like a little family to me now, so it's like really good fun. <laughs> There's so much preparation required because it's a world record and the Guinness Book of Records are quite fussy and so they should be but the stipulations are quite clear. You need official time recorders, you need independent witnesses, it needs to be recorded from high so they can do an official number count. We need to record everybody coming into a, a barrier section. So all that requires so much attention and focus. And then of course there's a recording of the people and teaching the choreography and uh, so yeah, it's required a lot of work. Uh, I'm a member of the London Football Association and a football referee. So normally I referee football games and I've been doing this since I was 16 from 1996. I think to be a good dance teacher you have to love what you do. You have to be so passionate and so if you love what you do, I think, and you know how to share the dance and you believe in your students, well you're halfway there. So I think just having a real love for the dance and the music and everything you do, um, yeah, and we always teach our team that, that, to teach the joy of the dance. It's such a joyful dance, so make sure the joy is part of the good teaching. The difference between a football match and a world record like this is that it's much more relaxed as experience and there is a lot of energy, a lot of happiness and it's for a good cause as well. So I'm launching a book called Swing Dance and a part of that has some key moves in it for beginners and there's a little section so hopefully people like it. There's key moves to different dancers so today has been all about Charleston so the key moves today are just you tap and you step and you tap and you step and you put some swivels in so there's some basic steps that form every dance and on that all the fun colour and uh, enthusiasm is layered on top. 
We're really proud that we've uh, raised money for the Guys Cancer Centre today. Uh, even though we're a big, joyful community, we've also been touched by cancer and had some sad occasions. And I think everybody in the community has been touched by cancer. So, yeah, it was a good one to support. It's a local one to us. And, uh, yeah, we're really proud of the support they were given today. So after that exciting world record attempt and watching all those people dance, obviously I now want to get in on the action. So I'm now going to be taking part in a swing class and uh, now you guys can see how I get on. So before I get to do my swing class, I'm here with Peter and Gemma, um, who are going to be hopefully teaching me um, how to swing. <laughs> um, so guys, how long have you been uh, doing swing dancing? Um, so I've been dancing for four years, teaching for two. I've been dancing for about eight years and teaching for six or seven. So why swing? I mean, I, I, my kind of background, I've done like salsa, but I've like seen it but never done it. So what is, why swing? Um, for me, what about swing is the happiness that it has, the joy. People are laughing. I mean, when I saw it for the first time, people were laughing and smiling through dancing. Whereas other dancers look amazing, but there's not so much joy at least, so that's for me what made me want to join. I think the, the swing music uh, has a bit more freedom, a bit more range of tempos, uh, different kind of energy, um, and you can see that coming through in the dance, there's a, a lot of uh, experimental stuff you could say going on, so uh, yeah. <laughs> it's not so regimented as maybe other dancers are, and it just uh, feels a bit more fun because of that. Okay, and is it something that's for any age, any skill level, it's all encompassing? Yeah, absolutely, I would say. Yeah, for sure. It's uh, the more the merrier, really. So uh, looking in that room tonight, you'll see, well, not, maybe not school kids, but uh, <laughs> yeah, teenagers right through to, to uh, older people. <laughs> <laughs> careful, careful. <Yeah. laughs> um, and uh, because I know one of the, the shows that we're going to be talking about is, for example, about body language, but do you think that dance is a great way for people to like kind of come together and, and even help people get more confidence in... in how they can present themselves, do you think that can help? Yeah, definitely. I think related to what Pete was saying about the music and the freedom. So there's a certain steps to swing, but we're dancing to the music. So everyone can express themselves differently. And it's nice to see how, the, when you're learning, how more, how, you know, you let go and you express yourself with your body language. Yeah. Okay. That's great. Well, hopefully I'll be able to express myself <laughs> on the dance floor a bit later. So see how I get on. This program is brought to you by UCKG.